Well, hello everyone, welcome back for more Sprung, and in between episodes, I did look it up, and this is the last, um, what can we call this, scene, episode, story, arc, for, uh, for Brett's story, so yeah, this is the last one. Um, now, some things that I think I was thinking about doing was doing a Becky playthrough, but I feel like that would just kind of, like, prolong the Sprung thing, so I might, later on, like, after a few series have gone by, I might do a Becky run of this. Because, obviously, she's still, like, still a part of the game. But, I mean, it's technically not going to be on hiatus, because I beat one part of the story. So, anyway. Sprung. Fantasy Date Showdown. Convince the women to give you their fantasy dating tokens. You need two out of the three to win that cruise with the dream date of your choice. So, let, let's let get dangerous. You need to get two out of the three fantasy dating tokens from Kiki, Erica, and Becky. Can you stop with that? Only problem is Connor wants that cruise, too. It is his contest, after all, so he's going to be coming with the big guns for sure. Dude, we gotta talk. Speak of the devil. Sure, what's on your mind, Connor? Damn right we gotta talk. Alright, so... So what? Hmm. Uh, hmm. So let's do this. <laughs> About what? You just want to forfeit this contest before it starts, Connor. Yeah, right. I just wanted to have a chat before things get started. You're a smart guy, Brad. Hear me out. Okay, I'm smart enough to know that listening never killed anyone. Exactly. And good things never came to those who weren't willing to negotiate, so we need to talk. I just wanted to know which woman you were planning on taking with you on the cruise, if you win. Uh, definitely taking Becky. Um, although I feel like I should have said I haven't decided yet. Yeah, whatever. Okay, cool. Even if I don't win, I wanted to take Kiki to get back together with me. So, I just wanted to make sure you didn't want to ask her. Are you happy now, Blondie? That actually... Let's do that. <laughs> let's do that. No, um, yeah, great, great. Little something you should know about me, Brad. I've studied and advanced Asana Yoga under Yogi Sukhandev Atma. Um, martial arts? Don't interrogate me. Yeah, well, me too. Right. Well, that means I don't rattle easily, so what say we just play nice, huh? Um, are you sure, Connor? Or something tells me you're probably not going to be playing nice. Alright, I try to deal with you reasonably. He has $500. Take it and drop out of this contest, tough guy. Give me more. A thousand. Give me more. Two thousand! Give me more. Five thousand! That's it! More. Hey, gents, what's up? Am I interrupting anything? No, 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 not at all. We were just, uh, just waiting for you. Here come the ladies. This is it, champ. Ah, oh, fuck. We, did we just, like, lose out on the money? Wh whatever. Here come the ladies. This is it, champ. This is what you've been working all season for. Checkpoint, checkpoint, checkpoint. Oh, we got the joke. The blonde joke? Okay, I didn't know that. The joke book? The hippie joke? Oh, okay. You know your mission. Go get him, champ. Ugh, let's get this over with. Who wants this stupid pennant thing the most? What's up, gentlemen? Hey, guys. Oh, sorry, my hands stink. Like fish, baby. Oh, um... Oh, sorry, ladies. I didn't see you there. Just practicing mine. Prayama technique, you know? Yeah, yeah, pray now I'm a Bahama mama, yo mama, mama, yo, yeah, you want me to buy me a drink? What the fuck was that? Um, I'd be happy to buy, what are you drinking? I know what she likes, come on, Kiki, let's get some solo time. Okay, that guy is such a douche. But, who's first, ladies? You go ahead, Erica, I'll wait here. Lena's over at the reception desk, I'll chat with her for a while. Sure. Why don't you vanish? Let's go Let's go to the nature trail. Really? I'd love that. Erica, you give me your fantasy token, right? Or pendant. No, then it's, it's a token. It's a token. And then a pendant. Well, you have to earn it, Brett. Those are the rules. Erica, I want to win this contest. Just give me your token. You'll be helping me out. Yeah, actually, yeah. Brett, come on. We both agreed to adhere to the rules of this contest. And I, for one, intend to fulfill that obligation. I'm not breaking any rules. Te I mean, technically, you, you might be, but... You know, Erica, you're just a stuck-up, pretty little bitch. 
We're not breaking any rules. Yes, we are. You shouldn't even be talking about it. Pretend you really like me, Brett, please. Um, I definitely don't want to say... <laughs> I definitely don't want to say I can't take you on the cruise, because that's obviously just not going to end well. Alright, how about Erica? I will give you... Er, I will take you on the cruise with me if you give me your dating token. Do you promise? Because if you don't mean it, I'm going to tell everyone that you lied to me. I promise. I promise, because I'm the biggest lying sack of shit you will ever meet. Really? Oh, Brett, that's great. I'm so happy. Then I suppose that this is for you. You're the green heart pendant. Next time you see me, I'll be in a smoking bikini. Yeah, maybe. Congratulations, you got Erica's pendant. What's next? Well, I feel like Connor won Kiki's. So, we're gonna have to go with Becky, I think. The personal victory. Oh my god, that's fucking funny. Yeah, let's do that. Connor's in the lodge talking to Becky. Checkpoint. Oh, hey, what's up, Brent? Well, how did everything go? I got a pendant. How about you? I got Kiki's to match you. Looks like it comes down to the Battle of Becky. Oh, I'm totally bored with this whole fiasco. Can we go, Connie? Oh, you're back together already? Kiki, go to hell. Um, what are we doing again? What are we doing again? Yeah, whatever, Kiki. Becky, let's get on. <laughs> whatever. Later, guys. Are we ready? Because I'm going to have some fun watching you both fight over me. The triple dame is on, and beautiful Becky will have to choose between us. Where should we go? Let us go... To the nature trail again. Good idea, Brett. Sweet. Is this really nice, guys? Yeah, I like to come here sometimes and just watch. Watch what? It's so quiet. Brilliant observation, Brett. Hey, you guys want to hear a joke? A naked blonde walks into a bar with a poodle under one arm and two-foot salami under the other. Connor, sh just listen. Ah. Did she just fart or something? All right, hold on. This is... Jeffrey! Jeffy, what are you doing in my room, buddy? You're not supposed to be in here. Mr. Jeff! I have to grab him. Give me a minute. Jeffy! Are you squirrel? Come on, buddy. Come on, squirrel. Where are you going? Squirrel. Oh, my apologies with that. Just my dad's cat got in the room. Oh. Dude, Connor, just, just shut the fuck up. Connor, shut up. Brett, just ignore him. Oh, dude, stop it! Will both of you shut up? Oh, I'm sorry, Becky. I had to find my center. Whatever. So, Becky, have you been enjoying your time at the lodge? I feel like this is way loud now. There you go. That's too low. That's way too low. Twelve point five. So, Becky, have you been enjoying the time at the lounge? I'm sure I could arrange something with my father if you wanted to stay longer. Oh, oh, please, flaunt your wares a little more... a little more con, man. Becky, if you wanted to haul office furniture cross-country in a semi-truck, I'm sure I could arrange something with my father. <laughs> Brett, you're so funny! Ugh. Brett, how did it go with Erica? She really likes you, you know. Yeah, I don't think I'm really into her, though. That's, like, that's the problem. I'm not really into her, though. Don't tell me you're into Kiki. <sighs> not Kiki either, princess. Well, then who? <laughs> oh! I can see you and Kiki together. I can't. You keep your paws off her! <laughs> oh... That sound, it's so mesmerizing. Suddenly, for some reason... Um, blum, 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 blum. You know what we need to use? Since it's so mesmerizing and it's sound-based... Sound-based? Sound-based! Where are they? I saw them in here, like, not too long ago. Fucking stop. Fucking stop. Can I please just go up one row? There they are, earplugs. Use them. Yeah, Brett. 
coming through in the clutch. Mm, give me a hump on the buggy. <laughs> Becky, just fucking ignore this loser. Just ignore him, Bex. That's alright, Brett. Now that I have these earplugs, his annoyance is greatly diminished. So, anyway, did you, what, did that, did you get the pendant from Erica so easily? Yes. Maybe? No? Let's just say no. Yeah, right, Brett. I knew it right away she'd give it to you. She's totally into you. Yeah, I mean, she's nice and all, but I'm kind of into someone else, as I just said not too long ago. Right, but I'm concerned about my... I'm concerned about my Erica's feelings right now. You should tell her how you really feel. Mmm... Huh. Yeah, about that, Erica ain't worth shit. I'm just gonna have to wait and see what the deal with Erica is, yep. Erica's the one you said was the ugly girl, right? Brett would never say that. You might, Connor, but Brett wouldn't. Brett, I'm tired of you and wish to dispose of you quickly. Therefore, I officially talent... Challenge you? I officially challenge you to a battle of wits. Pardon me, Becky. Brent, prepare to be out insulted. Your wits are as weak as your puny little arms. Alright, let's see what we got going on here. Your wits are weak. Okay, that that is just honestly the lamest thing ever. Dude, you know those pills Elliot gave you are laxatives, not steroids, right? Good one, Brett! <laughs> You don't even exist from my point of view. Because your point of view doesn't exist either. The only point of view you have, Connor, is the one atop the huge crane of yours. I'd like to see things from your point of view, but I can't get my head that far at my own butt. If they said ass, why couldn't they say ass right there? Like, honestly. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! <clears throat> Too bad I have to infect you with such a sense of in inferi in inferiority, kid. Oh, okay, inferiority, you say, right? Oh, didn't you hear? They developed a vaccine for the herpes simplex idiot. Chills of humor right here. What if? You're so dumb it would take a dwarf to limbo under your IQ. Um, really? That wasn't that funny, actually. Did you test that using the midget you keep in your bedroom closet? If you were any stupider, you wouldn't have to be watered twice a week. Booyah, brat! Ugh. You know, I thought I thought of you all day today, Brett. I was at the zoo. That snarky face at the zoo. <laughs> um, I thought of you day. I was at the zoo too. I feel like that's just stupid and childish. Oh, Connor, if you need some extra money, you should have just asked me. Well, thanks for reminding me. I forgot to clean out my mom's. I forgot to clean out your mom's cage. Ooh, baby, that's hilarious, Brett. Becky, I have to come clean. I feel like I would be less of a gentleman if I didn't tell you that Brett said about what Brett said about you earlier. Do do. I think. Give me a second. Almost just destroyed my glasses. All right. So how about? I don't want to say do don't. I'm just. I didn't say anything. What did you say, Brett? He said that the two of you had already hooked up on many occasions. Yeah, right. Brett would never say something like that. Ugh. Alright, so, Connor, your blatant attempts to talk smack are wearing thin. Alright, watching you two try to out-guy one another isn't as fun as I thought it would be. Then just choose one of us. Brett, I like you. You're my friend and all, but Connor is pretty ripped. I've seen him without his shirt. What? Becky, no. Becky, don't be so superficial, girl. What are you doing here? Yeah, don't be so superficial. Excuse me? Nice one, dude. Alright, um. Quit pointing your finger gun at me, dude. Hey, Brett. What? Just, just shut the fuck up, dude. Uh, yeah, what? Major, look. There's a fucking finger gun. These stupid macho contests bring out the worst in people, so I'm gonna do a flip a coin. Whoever wins gets my pendant. Who's got a coin? Only oh, I've got a hundred dollar bills, baby. Of course, Brett. Mm. You're gonna flip a coin? Is that really what you're gonna do, Becky? I don't think I have any change. Never mind, I've got one here. Best two out of three. Call it, Brett. Tails, 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 tails. Uh. Uh. What is it? 
its heads. Nice! Connor, you call it. Tails. Its heads. Brett, you call the last one. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Don't fuck up now, don't fuck up now, don't fuck up now, don't fuck up now. Whoever wins this can get my pendant, and if you want me to go on that stupid cruise with one of you meatheads, I'll do it. Never mind, just give it to Connor. What? You heard him! I win! I win! I'm Connor! I started this, and I win! Uh... Becky, I think you should go out with me, but I don't want to force you to do something you don't want to! Um... Hold on, scroll up, please. Yeah, I don't think you should go out with either of us. Really? Dude, shut up! This whole thing's a complete thing. This this whole thing is completely juvenile. You're a woman, not a prize. There you go, Brett. Ham it up. Ham it up, boy. Becky, don't listen to him. I think you're a prize, a darn nice one with nice prizes. I'd love to win those prizes of yours. <laughs> wow. Brett, what would you do if I told you I loved you? What would we do? Make it consistent, big guy. Okay, what are we gonna do? Becky, what do you say we ditch the rat race? We'll move upstate to Colorado Springs. Tell to nature. Becky, let's head straight for the top. It's time to get up there and snatch our dreams. Um, okay, so we're snatching dreams. We're snatching dreams with the bitch. We're snatching dreams with the bitch. Sure, maybe just a couple of punks with nothing but a nickel in our shoes and some big dreams. We'll make little clocks out of homemade hard candies and sweet meats. And we'll be punctual for the rest of our lives. We'll have five children and name them all Dolores, even the boys. We'll burn garbage for our warmth and live in a refrigerator box right outside the Empire State Building if we have to. Well, Bex, what do you say? Too much? Brett, you just somehow made nonsense make sense to me. I saw it all. Becky kisses you in your face, Connor. Go fuck yourself. Brett, I don't know what this is right... I don't know if this is the right time or the place to tell you this. <laughs> Excuse me, can we just please toss the... Get out of here, you pretentious... Your old trash wannabe big headed freak! You guys are lame. I'm gonna take this piece of crap too. We get the blue pendant. Sweet. Bruh, I just think you're really cool, and I didn't want to blow my chances by not telling you, but, but I really like you. You're nice, you're funny, and I think we get along well, and I know that you care about me as a person. And I think it's time to take our friendship to the next level, so regardless of what you think, he here, I, I want you to have this. And we get the red pendant! Red pendant! I'll let you think about it. Becky kisses you. Again. There we go. I'll talk to you later, okay? Becky leaves. Well, well, well. You just got a lot thrown at you, but before you think about any of that... Congratulations! You won the Fantasy Date Contest, and you're going on a Caribbean cruise with the Caribbean queen of your choice. Good word choice, because now it's time to choose your cruise partner. Obviously, Becky. I knew you were a no good, low down, manipulative liar! But for some reason, that only makes me want you more. Go ahead, take Becky. I wouldn't have gone with you anyway, even if you hadn't invited me. That's a long and a half. Actually, that's not true. I'd let you catch a glimpse of my new bikini. That's about as thick as dental floss, and then would have completely ignored you. Give me another second. Okay, back again. Kiki, just shut it. Brett. I'm ready. Let's do it. Congratulations, happy trails, and bon voyage, kid. You're going on the cruise with Becky. Sweet. Game on, dude. Well, that's somewhat flattering. At least we got at least we got Becky in the end, if you know. You know you know what I mean? I mean like we wanted her for so long and we finally get her. So let's continue on. I would like to save So what what happens now? Save successful Oh, thank you for playing Spawn. <laughs> We got 50, we only got 55% of the items. I'm, I'm assuming the other, like, 45 are on Becky's end, maybe. And then the artwork, we got 23 out of 52, so that's not even half. That's actually pretty bad. But, all in all, this was a pretty fun game. Why is this not going up, you know, whatever. It was a pretty fun game. It was a little, 
weird, and it was kind of infuriating when you like failed some things and you had to replay it. But it, it's still it's good for it's it's good for a laugh if you if you really need something. But um, that should be it for Sprung at least for now. I might consider going back like at some point in the future and like going down Becky's path to show what that's all about. There's my awesome face again. Um. <laughs> But yeah, I really like the game. Uh, overall, I'd probably give it a 7 out of 10. Just because, I mean, it's it's essentially just like... It's just a dating sim. There's really like... Minimal graphics that go into it. Well, I don't want to say minimal, but there's like... Well, there's, there, for one, there's like... There's no voice acting. Which I can totally understand for 2006 DS. But, like, even then, it's like... You know, something would have been a little better than nothing. But then again, if you don't... If you don't go all out and do all... Like, voice acting, then, like, what's the point? Especially with a game like this, because then it wouldn't... I don't... You know, I just I just don't know. But I guess the fun is, like, reading it and creating your own voices for these characters. And it'd be really funny if that wasn't, like, the picture of Becky. Because you can pick either Erica or Kiki to go on the cruise with you, so... I might do that as some, like, finale thing. Like, just show the uh, artwork, I guess. I I'm really not sure, so... There's the awesome, other awesome face. So, I want to hear your guys' opinion on this game. Like, what, what, what did you think of it? I know I probably didn't do it, like... Ooh, that's a... Ooh. That's probably a Becky... Becky path shot. Like, yeah, like, what are your opinions on the game? I mean, I'm sure I didn't give it, like, its full justice or whatever. But, I mean, it's still... I think I did an alright job. At least on the Brett path, so... so just, just let me know what you guys think. If you enjoy the series, or... Oh, it's 2004! My bad, not 2006. Is that when the DS came out? Maybe. But anyway, that's some sprung for ya! So if you play Brett, do we go... Oh, uh, no. We're gonna quit. We're going back. Yes. I'm more than positive. And Becke? No, no. We're, okay, that, we're, we're done here. So, uh... Yeah, I guess that's it for Sprung. At least for now. So, hopefully you guys are looking forward to some Devil May Cry 2 Blind, or even Resident Evil 4, because that should still be going on. Actually, I'm more than positive that's still going to be going on. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for, you know, following this series if you have. And if not, well, maybe you can come back and watch it and then have a good laugh, because, well, if, if some of the lines don't make you laugh... At least some of the character faces will. So, I guess I'll see you guys next time. For some more Sprung, maybe? Oh my god, you know what I just realized? It's gonna be the last of the Spring noise! Oh man, that kinda sucks. But anyway, take care.